Hi everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for simusystamp.com. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create two cards using the stamp set in the April 2022 card kit. And all of the colors for my stamping are inspired by the papers that are included in the kit as well. So I picked out a ton of different colors of ink, mostly based on this one pattern here. I just wanted to have a similar vibe to the colors that are on the pattern paper. So I'm using all positively saturated ink for these different colors. I've got Tropic and Tide Pool, which is kind of a tealish green, an aqua green, and then a lighter version. And then I've got two pinks, sweets and bubblegum, marine and royal, sunbeam and sherbet. So I've got two tones of pink, two tones of blue, and then yellow and orange. I'm going to start out by stamping the greeting for my card. Now, at this point, I was just going to be making one card, but as I started stamping this greeting here in VersaFine Onyx Black ink, I thought, you know what? These are all stamping cards. It would be amazing to just do a whole batch of these cards. So I'm going to be doing four of one design today and then four of another design. So in total, I'm making eight cards in this one video. So using a misty stamp positioning tool is ideal for creating multiples of cards because as you can see here, I leave my stamp on the door of the misty and then I can just stamp all four cards at the same time. This is really, really great when you're going to be doing a very stamp heavy design where you're changing colors quite a bit because you're spending all that time changing colors. Why not just stamp with each color a little bit longer and duplicate the design. So that's exactly what I did today. I'm starting out with this nice pale pink color. It's called bubblegum and I'm stamping the first balloon. Now the stamp set has two different balloons. It has a round balloon and a heart balloon. So I'm going to be using both of those today. So all I'm doing is just stamping all four cards all at the same time using these different colors of ink. And just so you know, a little behind the scenes here, I did plan out this card before I started stamping. I did a rough stamping that I actually have off camera, and it's giving me an idea of where I want these balloons to go. So when you're doing an all stamped design, don't be afraid to do kind of a rough run of your card idea so that you can kind of work out those spacing kinks and get everything going smoothly. I moved on to the color Tide Pool, and now I'm going to use, I'm not sure what color I'm using next. Uh, looks like I'm using Marine. It's a nice pale blue, and I'm going to edit out a couple of these duplicates as I move along here. I'm going to go on to Sunbeam, which is such a beautiful yellow. I'm loving these positively saturated inks, and this yellow is very yummy. I'm moving on to a bright pink, which is called Sweets. And then I'm finishing off with the color Royal, which is a really, really great blue. I've never seen an ink color that's quite like this. That's just a nice blue shade. So before I move on and do a, some additional stamping for the grading, I'm taking the color Smoke from Simon. This is not one of the positively saturated inks. This is one of their original dye inks. And I've mounted it onto a block and I'm going to freehand stamp these. And I moved away from my Misty for this in particular because I'm going to be stamping this same stamp in the same ink and moving it around on the card. And I thought it would just be a little bit easier to uh, do this freehand. So each of these four cards have these little confetti pieces in a few different spots, but for the most part, they're nestled around the balloons um, in the top left corner of my card design. By the way, I am stamping directly onto my card fronts today. So this cardstock is folded in half and the finished size is an A2 card. So now moving on to the strings on the balloons and I stamped the strings in the same black ink that I used for the greeting. But I think in hindsight, I may have had a better uh, experience if I use that same smoke color, but it's totally up to you. 
I'm going to finish off the greeting area by stamping one of the like second half of the greeting stamps from the stamp set. So this one says, is all about you. So the entire greeting is, today is all about you. It's the perfect birthday card or any sort of celebration, really. I'm using that sweet ink color that I used for one of the balloons to stamp this greeting. And you'll notice that for each time I stamp this greeting, I'm just going to slide my cardstock up a little bit and I can keep my greeting in the same spot on the door of my Misty. So that's another great way to stamp multiples of the same greeting, but have it be in different sections on your cardstock. So I cut all of those out, put some foam adhesive on the back, and then adhered it right below that large today stamp. And this basically finishes my first card design. In total, all four of these cards took me about 40 minutes to create, which is not bad. If you think about that, that's about 10 minutes per card for a really involved, cute design card. Okay, we're going on to my second card for this video. I'm first going to stamp this background with all the different ink colors that I showed you at the beginning of the video using the three different dot design stamps in the stamp set. And if you can hear some weird drilling in the background, I do apologize. Um, my neighbor is building a deck. <laughs> and so they've been making construction noises all day long. Anyway, I'm moving through and creating a really fun polka dot background using these dot stamps. And I wanted to change the color of the dots to all the different colors as I go along. So I'm stamping each card individually um, with each color and then washing off that stamp or cleaning it off with a stamp chamois from Lawn Fawn and then changing colors and moving on to the next dot. Now in total, I would say this was the most time consuming part of both of these cards because this dot pattern took quite some time, especially all this switching of colors, but I love how it turned out. I think it really stands out and I was very hesitant to cover up any of this background with a greeting, but in the end, I'm glad I did because it finishes off the card. But I do love all these polka dots, and these were directly inspired by those patterns in the pattern paper pack. So now I've got four backgrounds, or I should say card fronts, because I did stamp them directly on the card front. And now I'm working on some greetings that are going to be paired together on the final card. I'm taking some Audrey Blue cardstock from Simon and I'm stamping in Versamark ink this little itty bitty greeting that says sending hugs and kisses. And I'm stamping it on the top edge of the Audrey Blue cardstock, rotating that around, and then without moving that stamp, I'm going to stamp it again. This is going to give me two of these greetings that are very close to the edge of the cardstock. It's going to make it super easy to make a small little cutout strip with the words on it. So I'm dipping the edge of each of these greetings into my white embossing powder. This is alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. I'll heat set each one of these until it's smooth and melted. And then I'm going to cut them off each end of the cardstock. So I'm using my Tim Holtz mini trimmer. This trimmer is so convenient, especially for doing little tiny cuts like this. And I'm trimming off both of these, making sure that it's got about the same amount of cardstock below the greeting as above. And then I'm going to take my new piece of Audrey Blue cardstock and I positioned the stamp. I, I took it off the door and positioned it again. And I'm repeating those steps so that I can have two more of these greetings because I am making four cards. Super easy to do that and it made it really um, seamless in order to get these greetings. So I'll trim this down using my mini trimmer once again, and then I'm going to move on to some more stamping. I've got some dull pink cardstock and the large XO, XO stamp, and I'm stamping that in Versamark ink uh, once again, and then I'll be using that same white embossing powder. So I have four pieces of this uh, um, dull pink cardstock that I'm working with and they are cut to two and one quarter wide by two and seven eighths tall. So I'll put on that alabaster embossing powder, tap off the excess, and then I'll use my heat tool to heat set this stamp until all of the embossing powder is melted and it looks nice and smooth. 
So I continued on and did this to the other three pieces of dull pink cardstock. So in total, I had four of these large greetings ready to go. To make the little banner shape that goes right below, I'm using my scissors and cutting up directly into the center on the end and then cutting from the corners to the center. And that gives me a nice kind of ribbon end or V-shaped end on these greetings. Makes them look more like banners, I would say. So I took some thin Doris foam strips and put those right behind these greetings. And I measured the foam so that it was about the length uh, or the width of the pink cardstock. Put that in the direct center of each one of these banners. And then with my tweezers, I adhered them right below. So these are almost done, but I thought, you know what? I want to add a rounded edge to the top of these greeting areas. So I grabbed my corner chomper and I used the quarter inch rounder just to uh, soften the top edges on these greetings. Okay, so I put some foam tape behind the greetings and then put them directly onto the card front right over that polka dot background. So that completes my second card design for today, all four of them. I love those polka dots, they're so playful. And then here are all eight cards all together. So the second card took about 55 minutes to create all four. So in total, this was about a little over an hour and a half of work for eight fun, colorful cards. I hope you'll check out the card kit for April. The links for it are down below in the video description and also at the Simon Says Stamp blog. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll be back with another video with more inspiration using Simon Says Stamp products very soon. Thanks for watching. <music>